Let's see how these scientists fared in their quest to create the perfect cheesecake using a printer. Something tells me that in the future, many of us are going to be reminiscent about the halcyon days when our food was made with a human's touch. 영어 청취 가랑비 귀뚜라미 영어 오늘의 공부를 시작합니다. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. Question. Which of the following is not included in the examples mentioned in this news? We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. 인공지능 분야에 대한 중요한 뉴스를 전해드립니다. 인공지능, 즉 AI는 간단히 말해서 기계가 인간의 지능을 모방할 수 있도록 하는 기술입니다. 하지만 이것은 광범위한 기술을 포함하고 있습니다. 스마트폰의 실이나 집안에 있는 기기에 설치된 알렉사와 같은 개인 비서가 있습니다. 자율주행 자동차, 음식 서빙 로봇, 이외에도 더 많이 있습니다. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. Gonna informal, non-standard. 예, 비공식적이고 표준에서 벗어나는 표현이 되겠습니다. A way of saying or writing going to, going to 대신에 말하거나 쓸때 쓰는데요. In informal speech, 비공식적인 언급을 할 때, 예, 발음에서 착안하실 것은요. 예, gonna, any 겹쳤지만 한 번만 주로 발음을 하죠. 그리고 이 단어가 자칫 축약을 해서 간단하게 하는 거니까 예, 강세가 있지 않아서 둘다 모음이 예, 약한 어로 발음이 있다는 거 착안해 주시면 좋겠습니다. What she gonna do now? 하면 그 여자는 지금 어떻게 할까요? 무엇을 할까요? Front, 동사, 명사, 형용사로 쓰이는데요. 본문에서는 명사로 쓰였습니다. The part or side of something, 어떤 것의 면이죠? That faces forward, 앞쪽을 보고 있는 전면이라는 뜻이 있고요. 또 다른 의미는 the position, 위치입니다. That is directly ahead of somebody or something, 어떤 사람이나 사물의 바로 앞에 있는, 마주보는 위치라는 의미. The part of somebody's body, 예, 누군가 어떤 신체 일부입니다. That face is forward, 앞쪽을 바라보는 신체 전면이라는 의미도 되겠고요. 또 다른 의미는 an area, 장소죠. Where fighting takes place, 예, 지금 싸움이 일어나는 곳이죠. During a war, 전쟁에서, 전선이라는 의미도 있고요. 본문의 쓰인 뜻은 a particular area of activity, 어떤 분야라는 뜻이 되겠습니다.
term, a word or phrase, 단어나 구절이죠. Used as the name of something, 뭔가를 부르기에 사용되는 용어라는 의미가 되겠습니다. 또 다른 의미는 one of the three periods in the year, 예, 한 해의 세 기간 중에 하나입니다. During each, 이 기간 동안은 classes are held, 예, 수업이 열리죠. In school, universities, etc. 학교의 학기라는 의미가 되겠고요. 또 다른 의미는 a period of time, 어떤 기간입니다. For which, 그동안 something lasts, 어떤 것이 지속하는 기간이 되겠고요. Terms라고 복수를 쓸 때는 예, 위의 의미의 복수도 되겠지만 계약 조건이라고 의미를 쓸 때는 항상 예, 복수로 쓰여야 되겠습니다. Old man is a slang term for father. Old man, 예, 나이 드신 분이라고 부르는 것은 아버지에 대한 속어입니다. Mimic, to copy the way somebody speaks, moves, behaves, etc. 어떤 사람이 말하거나 움직이거나 행동하는 것을 예, 흉내내는 겁니다. Especially, 특히, in order to make other people laugh. 다른 사람들의 웃도록 만들기 위해서 흉내내다는 의미가 되겠고요. 본문의 스인트는 to look or behave like something else 다른 것과 비슷하게 보이거나 행동하다 뭔가 에, 모방하다라는 의미가 되겠습니다. The robot was programmed to mimic a series of human movements 하면 그 로봇은 일련의 사람의 움직임을 모방하도록 프로그램이 되어졌습니다. We are going to talk about the big news. 중요한 뉴스에 대해서 얘기를 하겠습니다. 중요한 뉴스를 전해드립니다. On Artificial Intelligence Front, 인공지능 분야에 대한 Artificial Intelligence or AI is in simple terms technology. 인공지능, 즉 AI는 간단히 말해서 기술입니다. That enables machines to mimic human intelligence. 기계가 인간의 지능을 모방할 수 있도록 해주는 It includes a wide range of technology though. 하지만 이것은 광범위한 기술을 포함하고 있습니다. There are personal assistants, 개인 비서가 있습니다. Like Siri on smartphone, 스마트폰의 Siri, or Alexa on devices in houses, 집안에 있는 기계에 설치된 Alexa. There are self-driving cars, 자율주행 자동차, food serving robots, 음식을 서빙하는 로봇, and lots more, 이외에도 더 많이 있습니다. Enable A to B, A가 B를 할수 있도록 가능케 하다. 투 부정사가 오겠습니다. Though, 하지만이 되겠는데요. 정의는 심플, 정의는 간단하지만 그 적용 범위는 wide range, 광범위하다. 서로 대조적인 표현을 위해서 사용이 되었습니다. Self-driving, 스스로 운전을 하는 자율주행, food serving, 음식을 서빙하는 예, 명사, 현재 분사 형태로 예, 합쳐서 형용사 역할을 하는데요. 유사한 표현들은 peace loving, 예, 평화를 사랑하는, peacekeeping, 평화를 유지하는, moral boosting, 사기를 진작하는 이런 표현들이 있습니다. The big news on artificial intelligence, 인공지능에 관한 중요한 뉴스, Siri on smartphone, 스마트폰에 설치된 Siri, Alexa on devices, 기기에 설치된 Alexa, 예, 부착의 전치사 on, 이전에 18가지 예문을 보셨는데요. 다시 한번 살펴보시겠습니다. Put it down on the table. 탁자 위에 올려놓으세요. She was standing on one foot. 그 여자는 한 발로 서 있었습니다. He was on the plane from New York. 그는 뉴욕에서 오는 비행기를 타고 있었습니다. What's on TV? TV에서 뭘 하고 있나요? We meet on the Tuesdays. 우리는 화요일마다 만납니다. The book is currently on loan. 그 책은 지금 대출 중에 있습니다. He turned his back on us. 그는 우리들에게 등을 보이고 서 있었습니다. I live on a house on the Thames. 나는 템즈 강변에 있는 집에 살고 있습니다. A story based on fact. 사실에 근거한 이야기. Please report to reception on arrival. 도착 즉시 리셉션에 얘기해 주십시오. A book on South Africa. 남아프리카에 관한 책. Whose side are you on? 당신은 누구 편을 들고 있습니까? The doctor put me on antibiotics. 의사는 나에게 항생제를 처방해 주었습니다. Drinks are on me. 술은 내가 살게. She's on extension 2401. 그 여자는 군의 번호 2401번에 있습니다. A ban on smoking. 흡연에 대한 금지. Have you got any money on you? 현금 가지고 있는 거 있니? Sales are up on last year. 판매가 작년에 비해 늘었습니다.
We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence or AI is in simple terms technology Artificial intelligence or AI is in simple terms technology Artificial intelligence or AI is in simple terms technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It enables machines to mimic human intelligence. Artificial intelligence or AI is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. Artificial intelligence or AI is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. It includes a wide range of technology, though. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants. There are personal assistants. There are personal assistants. Like Siri on smartphones. Like Siri on smartphones. Like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses or Alexa on devices in houses or Alexa on devices in houses there are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses there are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses there are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses there are self-driving cars food serving robots and lots more there are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. 오늘의 뉴스는 개인 비서, 자율주행 자동차, 음식 서빙 로봇 등 광범위하게 적용된 인공지능 기술에 관한 소식이었습니다. 다시 한번 들으시면서 오늘의 공부를 마무리하시기 바랍니다. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. Question. Which of the following is not included in the examples mentioned in this news? We're going to talk about the big news on the artificial intelligence front. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is, in simple terms, technology that enables machines to mimic human intelligence. It includes a wide range of technology, though. There are personal assistants like Siri on smartphones or Alexa on devices in houses. There are self-driving cars, food-serving robots, and lots more. AI technology is rapidly evolving, and it has the potential to completely change society even more as we know it. A product launched this year called ChatGPT is grabbing headlines because of its uncanny ability to have intelligent conversations with humans, answer questions in written form, and mimic people nearly perfectly. Experts are now voicing some serious concerns. There's potential for AI to increasingly take more jobs away from people, allow students to easily cheat in school, and for people to use others' identities to spread misinformation. In some cases, AI technology is now being created to combat the problems that were caused by AI in the first place. 
오늘보다 더 나은 내일을 위해 노력하시는 자신에게 칭찬을 해주시는 여러분이 되시길 바랍니다. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.